I want to give you the good news. Phil Marshall, the king of Ambazonia, is not dead. He's not dead. And those who are claiming that they've killed him, we are challenging them to give us evidence of his death. It has been three days. Let them give us genuine evidence. The image they show you, they showed you, Timasha does not have blonde hairs. He doesn't. That doesn't even look like Timasha the king. You may want to ask, Mr. Nacho, did something happen? Something happened. Yes, it did. And I'm not going to explain it. But what happened has happened. Okay? Now somebody will say, why is it that um, it has been difficult to get Fima Shape a phone? I understand and I'm going to give you a simple answer. Because his communication devices were confiscated during that ambush. They were confiscated. Phil Masha is not dead. And I want each and every one of you, after the show, put on your wall, post, film, long live Phil Masha the King. We are speaking live. Not dead. And I'm telling you, he's not dead. He's not dead. So why will you be saying who, those who killed Phil Masha, who killed him? He, you are indirectly trying to assume that he's dead and accept him. He's not dead. He's alive. He's alive. And you want to ask me where he is, I know exactly where he is. And I'm not going to tell you because I'll be releasing another information for like public to come good. And I'm not going to do that. Fim Masha will live and see the freedom of Amazonia. For that one I can guarantee you. So all of these people, you know we live in a world of spiritism, right? I'm making an official statement for me, Mr. Nancho. Say, Fim Masha is not dead. At least he has not been killed by like a public Cameroon. Some people don't say, oh, um, a lot of in-house work, the innocent, they still work for the house, now this and that. Okay, believe what you want to believe. I don't know where you are getting those information from. I don't know who is the source of your information. And I don't know what evidence they are giving you to back up those things they say. You will tell me, where well, I hear I was on person for Libya Alem. Do you also know that even in that Libya Alem, there are people who want the death of Yomasha? So it doesn't. It's not a strange thing to to see that those evil ones, those evil seeds, are the ones who are going out to make all this this negative news. But the truth is that it doesn't matter how many people believe in a negative news; it will never make it true. It doesn't matter how many people propagate a lie, how fast you propagate a lie, how much you believe in a lie; it will never make it true. <laughs> Take my words to the bank. So, when I feel sing from today to December, say, Fima shall do so, Fima shall die, Fima shall. When I waste on a time, you know, go make and true. You know, go make and say, not true. And you know, go keep. Amazonians, we are not Anglophones. It's stupidity. So, to cut a long story short, Fima is not dead. And we are not owing La like, Republic to Cameroon and her sorrow gates. Any. We don't want to. We are not going to justify it to them that he's still alive. They are the ones making the claim, right? So let them prove to us that he's dead. We are giving them 24 hours. Let them show us that truly they kill him. If La Republic comes up tomorrow with a video of the cops of Phil Marshall the King, take me Nanchop and put my credibility on the table. Take me Nanchop for a liar. I've been in this struggle, Papa Ramiro. When I know me, when I know me, when I know how they investigate my team before I talk, and I did tell her today. Don't let your heart be troubled, Amazonians. I speak peace into your heart. I speak courage into your hearts. I speak bravery into your hearts. Because La Republic has failed again. And their claims and noise making out there against you and against Tim Masha the King is thick and void. Of course, I understand the worries of family members, relatives, and those who've been making attempts to call. If you call the private number of Fimasha, you'll notice that somebody will pick it and the person will not talk. Maybe you might have a B talk. So first thing first, where is the source of the information? How did we ever get here? Where did this come from? Where did, how did this ever start? Okay. The first person that came out to talk about the death of Fimasha the king is my country people as a matter of fact he posted it in their so-called no pity group and then 
used the Facebook page and this is the first account and the only account that has been propagating this message out there that Phil Marshall the King is dead. Again, I want you to judge the source of your information. Where did this originate from? Who inspired this idea? Who is the engine behind this? My country people. Now, who is my country people? You and I know that my country people is a fake person. He has been always operating with fake accounts. Everything about him is fake. He doesn't even have that audacity and courage to show his face because he knows he's living a fake life. If someone should ask you, do you know my country people? You cannot prove, you cannot even tell who he is. So why then would you believe something coming from somebody who is based on fakeness? If for true, Phil Marshall the King has been killed, as they want us to believe, right? They want you to believe that they've killed Phil Marshall the King. Would they be the one asking us if it is true that Phil Marshall the King is dead? It, it, I mean, it, it, logically, it is, it, it, it is, it is, it is an expression of stupidity. So, let me tell you, what, I will tell you what is going on. Amazonians, I'm going to tell you what is going on in a moment from now. But I want to present these things to you so that you can at least reason for yourself. What are the evidences that have been laid to, on the table to justify or back the fact or the claim? It's not even a fact, the claim that... Phil Marshall the King has been killed. I know what somebody will say, we had Capo Daniel made a show about this and talked about it. I'm going to respond to that. I will show you the connection of Life Public and, and ADF and Capo Daniel, which again is a play in this thing. I'll come to that. But first things first. Has Capo Daniel ever been credible? This is the same person that launched 80 million, thousands, 80 million CFA. For the head of C uh, um, Phil Marshall, we've seen ADF promising money for the head of Phil Marshall. As a matter of fact, I played an audio on a recent show, a video, where we saw Tapang Ivo, ADF again, AGC member, professing that he wants Phil Marshall to be killed. So that shows you that there was, that even in the Libya Lem County, there have been a lot of black legacy and those who want Phil Marshall to be killed. These are the very ones who are spreading this rumor in negative excitement, hoping that it should be true. Now, the, the funniest thing about them is that they go ahead and they spread the rumor in an affirmative manner. They come behind to ask us, is it true that Fimasha has been killed? But when you hear them talk, when you see them make posts, they make it as though they have the evidence. When they come behind, they are calling us, is it true? Is it true? So they are not even sure in their own claim, which again is an act of expression of stupidity. So what are the evidence they've been able to put on the table to convince you that Fimasha, the king of Amazonia, is dead? First evidence is they brought a picture, a photoshopped picture, right? And showed you with some bees standing behind. And another one, you saw the, the cap. Yes, of course, what Fimasha was putting on the day he was attacked. You saw it there. I'm going to explain these things to you for you to understand what is going on. But probably it will be convincing to the weak-minded to believe that, oh, we saw Fimasha wearing that cap. And we saw somebody lying down who does not even resemble Phil Marshall. But the cap is there. Could it be Phil Marshall? As human, you have that, or that um, capacity to, to, to believe or to, to operate in doubt. Which, is, which again is a characteristic of the human nature, right? To be, to be in fear, to be in doubt. And I understand when many people... Um, uh, are expressing their fears and their doubt in that manner. I really understand that. I do. But this is what I want you to understand. You don't go to court and make claims against someone without evidence and then turn around to ask that individual 
to disprove what you are saying by producing counter evidence. No, it doesn't work that way. So, first things first, all of those who are saying that Fiumasha is dead, if their justification of their claim that Fiumasha has been killed is producing to us fake Photoshop images of Fiumasha, the very fact that those evidences are false and fake means that their own claim in itself is false and fake. That alone is enough reason to be at peace, Amazonians. We don't owe the Republic any evidence of living or life of Fimasha. They that are claiming that they killed Fimasha, they owe us evidence of his death. Let them show us his cup. Today is the third day. As a matter of fact, today is my birthday, the 15th of July, and it's three days after Fimasha has been killed. Affirmate, uh, like in quote, by the claims of the Republic. So, when they came up on the 11th, I think the 12th, and said they've killed Fimasha, what happened was that they said the next day at 7 o'clock in the evening they are going to display his corpse. We never saw them. Then they said the next day at 9 o'clock they are going to display his corpse in Chang. That one has come and passed. <laughs> what is happening? We know the modus operandi of La Republic. Let's go into the history. When they killed um, Ayeke of Libya, we saw La Republic displaying the cops of Ayeke all over on the streets. As a matter of fact, for security reasons, they had to flow that cop, that cops, um, the dead body of Ayeke immediately out of Libya to um, um, Meme in Kumba. And that's where they had to portray the body and we're making, you saw their governor, Lele Laf, is it Lele? No, um, Okala B, uh, Bilai. They were, and the rest, the mayors, they were talking and jesting over the cops. Uh, to them, it was a great, great achievement. Phil Masha the King is bigger than um, Ayeke. Do you actually believe that if for true life, Republic of Cameroon had succeeded to kill Phil Masha, they will still be hiding the images three days after and the only justification for their claim would be a photoshop image of a false identity to film it's a shame it's a shame but this again expresses and exposes the evil and corrupt fraudulent late nature of the government of life and their bees and how they are now let's come to the connection of ADL this is the game that they are playing we saw the game and the matter they played with Regina Mundi. Right? With Regina Mundi. That La Republic said they went there and rescued Regina Mundi. But they could never show us any image of the battle. Like, believe me, if La Republic literally went there and fought with the ADA fighters and overpowered them, they would have showed us where they kept the lady, where they rescued her. They would have given us images that back up their claim. But because it was a financial deal, you know, money changed hands and bodies were released. There, were, there was no battle. Again, it shows you the manipulative play game of La Republic to Cameroon. Let's come back to the case of Phil Marshal the King. Listen, Phil Marshal the King is not dead. That's what I can tell you for now. Good news. My name is Nacho. Quote me anywhere. Take my watch to the bank. FMA of Ambazonia. I just played his audio, his video here, his music. Is not dead. At least, he has not been killed by La Republic du Cameroon. Now, somebody might say, but Mr. Nancho, we've had audios from the county. We've had communications. We've had different stories from the county. We've had different... What you need to understand here is that there are people in the Lebi Alem County that want Filmasha dead. Do you know that? The day you saw the video, that was on the 12th of July, where you saw the video of Filmasha the King in Menji, right? Where he was doing peace talks and peace party with his brothers and the other generals. Okay. Something happened that day, and I'm going to tell you now the details. Something happened. 
Before now, La Republic has been certain to, do, to know the whereabouts of Tim Marshall. They want to at least know where he is. If you listen to that video, whosoever was making that video said something. He said, and I wish I can play the video now. Uh, let me get it out. I, didn't, I, 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 don't, I actually doesn't want to, I don't want to make this a long show. I want to make it a very short show because I just want to give you the important information. But the person that was making that video said something. He said, he actually he released their location. And I don't want to reiterate that. Okay, that's, I think it's, it's okay. Let me not even repeat that. He said, we are at this location, two kilometers away from this place. So, indirectly, I don't know if he was doing that consciously or unconsciously. Let me give him the benefit of doubt that that was being done ignorantly. But that passed a message to the enemy. It gave La Republic du Cameroon a message about where Fimasha was located at that point in time on that day. Now, another mistake here is that whosoever shared that video to the social media would and should have trimmed this particular part where the fighter was um, leaking indirectly or unconsciously giving out information about their present location and that of Fimasha the King. And I believe that is exactly what La Republic took for their advantage. That is what gave them an advantage. What they thought was, now we know where he is. Now we should launch an attack against Fimasha. They did. It would be very naive for me to come and tell you that they did not launch an attack against Fimasha the King. They did. Was this successful? No. It was not successful. So La Republic launched an attack against Fimasha. At least because now they have a radius of where he could be. Don't forget, these guys have been sorting out, or they've been in search for Phil Marshall for years. For years. And this was an opportunity for them to come close to him. Again, is Phil Marshall the king dead? No. Phil Marshall is not dead. Are there people who are wishing the death of Hilmarsha? Yes, many. Especially the black legs of Libya Lem. And all those who are jubilating, producing the audios, producing texts and messages out there in support of my country people. We know them now. And all those sometimes say, is, you know, there are situations will arise that will even make you know who is your friend and who is your enemy. And we thank God for this situation. But again, is Phil Marshall the King dead? No. You want to ask me, Mr. Nancho, where is Phil Marshall the King? I will not tell you. Let me ask you a question. Why was it why is it that they could produce the, the corpse of Ayeke swiftly? When they did kill um, General Ibumba, they came out with the corpse swiftly to gain to, to gain like do you know what it would be? Everybody in the world knows Fimasha. Even the American um, 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 intelligence, they know Fimasha. Imagine the bee of dictator Bia who killed Fimasha. Believe me, it's going to be the biggest talk of the day in all their media houses. They will portray the images of his dead body without manipulation. They will bring evidence and videos. They will even show where he, hid, where he was hiding and how they did an operation whatsoever. John Gute and all those generals that have been eating money from the Cameroon government will do everything to justify that they've been working. This will be a great opportunity for them to convince their colonial master that they have this war under control. That they've been able to catch and kill Thimasha the king. But why, are they not be, why can they not produce those images? Why is it so difficult? When they did it with Ibumba, we saw these images. When they succeeded to kill Ayeke, we saw it. We always see in Bamenda, around the city chemists, you will see them portray bodies of those they claim are Ambazonians. Or Ambazonian or separatist fighters that they've killed. Why is it so different with Phil Marshall the King? This is the third day. All they've been able to produce to justify their claim is a fake photoshopped image. Is that not a shame? And they want some of you to lose your peace. They want some of you to lose your, your calmness. Amazonians, listen. We are not a naive people. You understand? La Republic du Cameroon cannot play a psychological game with us. Then, 
Why he busy in ADF and Kapo Daniel? As a matter of fact, I check I have show you a page today. I have a check put and say I have been briefed, Libya Lem. What have you been briefed about? These are people who want you to believe that they are fighting for the struggle, right? Filmasha is not dead. Yes, as a person goes, I don't hear the audio. I don't hear. Who, who are those making the audios? You don't judge them. You don't look at them. If the person who make that audio, he call his name, he the support the struggle, which evidence he give you for back the audio? Some that they make all kind of negative comments. Ambazonians, who cares we like this? Who cares we? Why? What would be so negative? What would define joy in evil? To the level where you even see person like Ayabacho claim to be a frontline leader. You could talk her, you've been what have you been briefed about? In a sensitive topic like this, all you need to do is you come out to, for, for cheap popularity, you've been briefed. And before you know it, why is it that only the La Republic agents are the ones that are propagating this message? For instance, my country people. Then before you knew it, ACN and Capo Daniel. They were the ones coming out and they spoke so affirmatively without evidence. If they get anything for back up their claims, they will produce them for me. But they just talk, talk again, mere propaganda. So why would you be doing propaganda against your own? I'm assuming I'm not answering that question. Why would Capo Daniel, Ayabacho, and Esther be doing propaganda against Fema the King? If truly. The day on the side of Femasha the king. Before this, I will not put on a on a CM. We tap on I would talk to me the key Femasha. Why would you even go to that level way without why hate you? Imagine what you Femasha already do for this struggle. Then you have those of the Sako camp, the Bitcoiners. The, you see the this this struggle, this this small rumor, it don't expose a lot of things, Amazonians. A lot. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's disgusting. It pains me to the soul. When I hear Pesile Tapan, talk I want me the key Fimasha. You hear Pesile Capo Daniel talk I they put, they put 80 million the For wait, how would that take us to where? No, let's be honest. I have a true and the West. How would the killing of Fimasha the king take us to Boya? How? How will you stop you and Efa and the rest of them from fighting the Republic in your own area? Oh, Amazonians. Do not. I'm not sure I'm the one telling you this. For the next two weeks, you're not going to have any audio or any video from Film Marshal the King. We will not give you. You will not detect us when you want us to prove. This is not the first time they are coming up with such allegations, right? You remember what they did with Ayeke the King? They also came up and said Ayeke was dead. They even produced images. The same Photoshop. You saw someone who had his dada hair. Rasta hair, exactly like Ayeke. But was it Ayeke? When they succeeded to kill Ayeke, it was the talk of the day. It was not just only talk, they produced the videos. And you saw the helicopter, you saw them, Union Africa, all of them were happy. Why is it different this time around? If for true, they have seen Masha the King, even in their custody. If they even had him in their custody like he was arrested or whatsoever, believe me, La Republic du Cameroon will be posting those images out there like Wi-Fi. I go round up with and say, um, Fimasha is not dead. We know all La Republic agents and whatsoever any evidence of his life. Instead, the murder they claim he did dead, the only evidence of his death. Fimasha! He used to call himself the king of the forest. Has been killed, has been neutralized. This is the one. Just behind me. That one is a testimony that all those who are not willing to surrender are going to face our forces of law and order. The head of state gave the way out to all who remain in the bushes to lay down their arms and join the remaining population in the development of this country. P. Marshall, you know it very well. He has killed more than 400 persons in Levi Alem, including Mehmet Division. Today, 
He's the one laying there. And he can say it previously that let those who remain in the bushes lay down their, their arms and join the remaining country in this move of development. And I'm going to see this opportunity to officially and openly, like state representatives, to encourage our policy of law and order for the work well done. And I will say this affirmatively, without fear or favor. Phil Marshall is not dead. And I want each and every one of you, after the show, put on your wall post, film, long live Phil Marshall the King. We are speaking live, you know, and I'm telling you, he's not dead. He's not dead. So why will you be saying those who killed Phil Marshall, who killed him, you are indirectly trying to assume that he's dead and accept him. He's not dead. He's alive. He's alive. And you want to ask me where he is, I know exactly where he is. And I'm not going to tell you because I'll be releasing another information for like public to come And I'm not going to do that. 